Hi everyone. As a teacher, one of the questions I get asked the most is how do I revise for my exams? So in this video, I'm going to give you my top five revision tips. Revision tip number one. Pick two or more revision strategies that work for you. We all learn in different ways, so what might be good for you might not be good for one of your friends. Find out which strategies work for you. So I'm going to give you a list of eight to choose from. First strategy is you could go onto YouTube and watch some revision videos. You can also create spider diagrams to summarize the topic. You can also write post-it notes with key information. So it might be the equation for working out the concentration of a solution, for example. And you would put that somewhere prominent, like the bathroom mirror, so that you see it twice a day. When you think you know that information, you take it down, but you don't throw it away. You put it in a box somewhere. And if you still know that information in a week's time, it can stay in the box. If you've forgotten it, because it does go from our memory, it goes back on the mirror until you know it again. You can also use revision cards. The best way to use these is to write the question on one side and the answer on the other. And then you test yourself and the cards you get in correct, you put in one pile. The cards you get in wrong, you put in another pile. And then you go through the pile of wrong cards, uh, revising and reminding yourself until you get them right and they all end up on the right pile. The other thing you can do is what I call the staircase method where you put a card on each step of the staircase. If you get the first one correct, you move on to step one. If you get the second one correct, you move to step two and so on. If you get to step number seven and you get the card wrong, you go all the way back to the start again. It does mean by the time you get to the top of the stairs, you really know all that information. And at that point, you take a break, you go downstairs, have your tea, watch some telly, and then an hour later, you shuffle the cards and do the same thing again in a different order and you repeat that for several nights. And my students have told me this is a very effective way to learn information. You can also use your own class notes in your exercise book. These are personal to you that you've made with your own little diagrams and annotations. Uh, once again, make sure you're testing yourself in some way. And you can buy a revision guide. You can get most of these online. Practice exam questions are also really important. There's two sides to revision. One is memorizing the information you need to know. And second is having some practice at exam questions. My playlists of videos all include exam questions either within the videos themselves or as a separate video of exam questions. And these are questions I've come across over the last 25 years of teaching and also as an examiner. They're questions that come up time and time again. You can also go online and go on revision websites such as BBC Bite Size. So there are all the revision strategies. There are others as well. Make sure you pick a couple that work for you. Revision tip number two is remove distractions. Turn the TV off. Turn off notifications on your phone. We all know how distracting it is if we get a ping and we're wondering who the text is from. So what we're saying is give your revision your full attention. It's far better to do half an hour giving it your full attention than two hours if you're distracted by outside things. So give it your full attention, give yourself um, targets in terms of knowing a topic rather than saying I'm going to revise for two hours say I'm going to revise until I know this topic whether that takes half an hour or an hour and a half and you finish when you know you know it. Revision tip number three is test yourself in some way. So that could be the look cover check method where you might have five things you need to remember on a page of your book and you try and remember it for a minute or two, turn over, can you write those down on another piece of paper? If you're watching revision videos, pause the video and write down what you can remember. Or at the end of the video, can you make it into a list or a spider diagram to summarize what you've learned? The staircase method I've already mentioned is an excellent example of how you can test yourself. Or you could even ask someone else to test you, maybe somebody in your family or a friend who's revising for the same test. 
So what we're really saying here is make it active revision. You're not just sat looking at a book, turning the pages absentmindedly. Revision tip number four. This is a really, really important one, and that is repeat your revision. So what this does is the information you've learned goes from your short term memory into your long term memory. So instead of feeling like you're having to drag it up from your memory, it becomes something that you know. So review your work once a week. By doing that, it's starting to go into your uh, memory. So that might be reading over your notes from your classwork. It could be watching one of my videos or two of my videos on the two lessons you've had that week. But by doing that, it's going into your memory. And also, if you don't understand your work at that point, that's the time to consolidate it and maybe look in your revision guide, watch a video or ask your teacher about it rather than two weeks later when you've moved on to a different topic. You then also do the same type of review when you're halfway through the topic. And then when you know you've got an end of topic test coming up, you start one week before that test and you do your daily revision. The first day it might take you an hour to do the whole topic. The second day it might take you half an hour and then 15 minutes. It will get quicker as you become to know it and it starts to go into your long term memory. Obviously, for your full GCSEs where you've got two or three years worth of work to remember and revise, you're going to start months in advance. And vision tip number five is start now. Don't put it off until tomorrow or next week or next month. Nobody likes revising. Sometimes the most difficult part is actually getting started. So pick a topic or half a topic and try revising. When you know you understand the topic, it will encourage you to keep going. You will see the benefits of revision because you will feel yourself that you know that topic much better. So now you've got lots of strategies to try. So have a go straight away and get stuck in.